Okay, guys, we are, as we are busy doing everything all at once, this is the T-bone that we go going to braai on the fire. Look at it, guys. Look at it. That's the three beer. Three beers. Papa beer, mama beer, baby bear. English. Okay. Can and you see, guys? And that is the... The adopted child. <laughs> Why is it looking? No, Alwyn. Okay. Then we put some spices on. Onto the T-bone. It looks absolutely divine. As you can see. Ooh. This is going to be so nice. And we want our steak half done. If you want it well done, then, yeah, we're just going to put it on the braai longer. But we actually like it half done. Put some spices on. This is my husband, guys. <laughs> Alwyn, his name is Alwyn and he's just gonna show us how to do all of this lovely 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 in South Africa we have a chisanyama they call it chisanyama so today we are gonna chisanyama definitely mm -hmm. great Beautiful barbecue spice, thick, thick T-bone. And, uh, yeah, a little bit of a bit of coarse salt, because it's thick pieces. Mm. We have to, gonna, yes, we're going to have to put some salt on. But the adopted child will only get the, the spice. <laughs> Why? Because <laughs> it's too thin. It's thin. You can't put uh, coarse salt. So let me get the coarse salt. Where is it? Coarse salt. It's not there right there. Some And that's it. And oh. it's going to go on the coals. So we leave it for about five, two, three minutes that I put the marinade on. You have to. Three you three have three bays. Yeah. <laughs> Me, you and Callan. <laughs> Where's Mikhail? His piece is coming when he's here. Okay. Okay, we are busy with our onions. It looks absolutely good. Fried, as you can see, it is not um, burned or anything. Really looks nice. Mm. Pasta. It looks absolutely beautiful. Now we can just pour in our tomato and onion. I mean, our tomato. I bought. I bought the tomato. I bought the tomato, canned tomatoes. As you can see, it is so lovely. I just, it is so much easier. So if you've got soft tomatoes, then you just lay it into some boiling water. Throw this in there. This is two cans of just tomatoes, canned tomatoes. Okay. Now you can just turn down your heat a bit. There we go. So we wouldn't 
wouldn't want to burn it so then it will just simmer for a few minutes like for five minutes everything needs to be soft see why you cannot put in a lot of oil the oil is always drifting on top and then after this we're also going to put in our tomato paste we've got a tomato paste there so yes guys we'll see you in a minute and we're going to just leave it to summer this is for the tomato and onion craving and you can please put on you can also put in a spoon of sugar just for the sourness of it that is the marinade we use um any marinade you can buy in the shop in your local shops now we're going to put it onto the t-bones and just rub it in look at those thick beautiful pieces guys oh this is going to be so succulent t-bone with the fillet on just put it like that and we're going to show you on the coals what does it look like lovely stuff mm, that is great delicious so then there we go let's see how far is our stir fry our stir fry has softened a bit with the cabbage now we need to put in our mixed veg pour in our mixed veg there's our mixed veg right here and we throw it in a whole one kg of mixed veg because we want to taste the veggies yeah boy we really want to taste it and then we just mix it together like this and then we're going to close the pan the sound alone makes you hungry eh? isn't that divine Okay. Now we're going to close it up so we can just soften a bit. Looks delicious, eh? Super duper. Then, guys, we're going to put some little bit of inner parma spice my favorite garlic pepper just a bit for some flavor and a little bit of worcester sauce like just less than a cup like less than a three quarter as well just throw it in there a bit mix it up mm, this is absolutely gorgeous gorgeous people welcome to my youtube channel don't forget to like the button and subscribe so the steak is ready to go guys look at it this is what it looks like marinated spice everything and it's going to go on the hot coal then also yeah before we forget we put in some little bit of spice just a little bit just for flavor not too much and we're going to stir it stir it stir it it needs to simmer guys and then we're also going to put a little bit of stock in i think now we are ready to put in the tomato paste this is 50 grams of tomato paste that we've put in sorry for the camera work guys one day it will all just be professional the tomato paste give it like a lovely thick gravy look at it mm. and you shouldn't forget also to put in a spoon of sugar just like two small teaspoons not big spoons the small spoons because we don't want it too sweet you know my dad hates sweet food he says nah don't want 
don't like it so there we go then we're gonna leave it to summer and I think my pasta is also ready to be strained as you can see so while we are waiting for this I'm just gonna pull it off the stove switch off. and then we're gonna go check the steak is on the fire guys as you can see the coals are nice and hot just the way we want it it shouldn't be like not hot enough it is sizzling hot so then there's the steak it's sizzling on the braai mm, yum yum yummy so it's about three to five minutes on this side yeah, it should be ready three to five minutes yeah, on each side on each side we're gonna just strain our pasta this is the way i make my pasta i was supposed to catch some of that water but i didn't <laughs> sorry for that i'm just gonna rinse it off with some cold water can you see the pasta can oh you can okay yes Strain some cold water yes okay on now we're going to put in the pasta that we strained lovely and the secret spice that I like that my <laughs> there was a big verb is a some spice for rice just a little bit look at it guys oh yummy in my tummy then we're gonna put some olive oil in <laughs> oh no <laughs> and then we're gonna mix this up oops 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 look at my pasta <laughs> that means it's very nice guys overseas if you don't know zulu or tosa it means nandi means nice so there is my pasta nandi 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 good nandi good nandi good nandi good yeah Chongalapa, I want to say YouTube, <laughs> my YouTube subscribers, yeah, go. simple, keep it simple, pause. And guys, look at this, oh my word, look at my beautiful, beautiful, uh, stir fry. <laughs> so then, tell it to show some okay. how. Oh, look at that, guys. Look at that. So now, we're just going to put in a little bit of stock. It's um, beef blocks that I used. Just to give it some flavor because we haven't used any. Mm. It's actually nice like this. But it's just lacking a bit of salt saltiness just a little bit so look guys there's my beef stock it's like i use four beef blocks so half i'm going to use here and the other half i'm going to use in my tomato and onion gravy so then i put some in here half of it way in there you need to use a spoon because sometimes the thicker part is sitting underneath so you really need to just Use a spoon just so it can just come up, mix well with the with the water. It, it's it's I put in boiling water. So for now we're gonna leave our stir fry open because we just want the the uh, the, the the sauce to just dissolve a bit because otherwise if we're gonna close it now. Everything is gonna be pop. So, too soft, you know. In Afrikaans, they say pa. Mm. Mm. So, we're going to leave it open because we don't want it too soft. We want it crunchy. Can you see, guys? Look at this. Look at this. Then, 
from there, we're going to go to the tomato and onion gravy. Follow me, Mr. YouTube Callan. Tomato and onion gravy is lovely simmering up. And now the rest of the stock that I've made for both dishes, I'm going to pour it in there. Some back in here. Okay. Let's just roar, roar, stir, we stir it a bit. And there we go. So we're going to leave it on the stove. I put it on three on a medium heat just to, okay, come take now, just to summer. It needs to simmer, simmer. Mm, look at my pasta. And then my millies is also going to go in the coal. My tomato and onion gravy. Just need to wipe that, guys. Sorry. And then this side. Haha. -ha, she's a stir fry. It's frying away. Look at that. So lovely. Now we're going to go check on the T-bones. How is it going? Pause, brother. Guys, this is the T-bone. And it's ready to come off. Wow, look at those pieces. Ooh, man. Lekker. We want the fat also to grow, to braai. And look at that piece. Mm. Yo, nice. Oh, this is so nice. Let's just take a closer look. Wow, that's the T bone, guys, and this is what it looks like. Look at that. Yo, man size, man size. <coughs> Lovely. And this is what the T-bone looks like, guys. Medium rare. Mm. This is so delicious. Tasty, soft, and just the right... Um, what did you say? Yes. Lovely. This is my tomato and onion gravy. I put it on a lower heat. This is going to go lovely with the pasta. And then I... So nice. And my stir fry is ready. So now, switched off and ready. To eat okay guys that is the wars that we have on and that small piece of steak that was left so then after that we're gonna put on the millies to be to to be bride to be grilled to be grilled this is my beautiful sweet corn millie I'm just going to put some butter over it because it's going to go on the braai. It's going to be grilled on the braai. And because the vors is on now, I'm just going to do this. This is also one of our traditional meals in South Africa. This is really, really popular. And I'm just going to rub it in with some butter so it won't be too dry on the grill. Here we go. Lovely. So, this is going to go on the braai. Thank you, guys.